Hey! Hello! It's episode 11 of the Weekly Speak, and this is Lindsay from Heart Speak Health. Yes, I'm in my car. I, uh, I'm actually doing some sampling down here in Pittsburgh. My husband and I own Clean Juice in East Liberty, and I'm sampling out our cold-pressed juices at Pure Bar. And I have a little break, so I thought, well, uh, I'll get a tea and do my little video for the week. So, let's get to it. Um, you have to check out the blog. I just published an article. Don't mind me scratching myself. I'm just getting itchy here. Um, I, I just published an article where I discuss the central, I would say, I don't know, it's, it's just always been at the center of um, whenever I f started to figure out what was going on and why my thyroid was underactive. And that is chronic stress. Um, specifically, HPA axis dysfunction. That was the diagnosis that I was given by a hormone specialist. And um, she explained to me that this HPA axis dysfunction and chronic stress, which can also be referred to as constantly being in fight or flight. She explained to me at the time that um, basically when your body is in this cycle of always being ready for a saber-toothed tiger, always ready for something to happen, that's obviously stealing raw materials from building healthy sex hormones, healthy thyroid hormones, and you're building hormones, you're creating cortisol, and you're amping up for an attack. And that might sound like kind of extreme, but here's the deal. Back when there were cavemen and cavewomen, um, they did have to deal with things like running from saber-toothed tigers and other large beasts. And so our bodies, of course, were created to deal with those types of events. And it's okay to have that response, that fight-or-flight response, when it's necessary. The problem is that in this day and age, many people are in fight-or-flight or are experiencing, again, what's called chronic stress because of our modern-day lifestyle, okay? You think about things like sitting in traffic for a very long period of time, having a long commute, having a stressful job, um, dealing with all the stresses that are at home, maybe, if there's things going on with kids or with your partner, your wife, your husband, whatever the case may be. Um problems with other family members. And then you take, you know, you just take all of this, and then on top of that, we have a very fast-paced way of living. We're living in an age where we can access everything very quickly. Um, there's really no downtime, because you can be texted and messaged and called and even looked at all the time. You know, there's FaceTime. Um, so it's like people don't really have much of a, you know, if you let it happen, you, you can get into a, a cycle where, you know, you, you're really not ever having a break. You're not ever having downtime. And as simple as that sounds, or as silly as it might sound to somebody, it actually is at the root, it's one of the foundational factors to hormone issues and to just overall poor health and disease. Um... And people get so accustomed and so used to living the way that they do with being in this, you know, amped up state and they don't even realize that you're not supposed to feel that way. When I was at IIN, Josh Rosenthal did a really great job of explaining how caffeine, you know, it like turns you into this like, you know, hyper, um, you know, over, overactive, overproductive being. And, you know, I know that it, that can be a great thing, right? Like if, if you need a, a boost, but again, what happens is that people become dependent on that and they think that that's how they should feel all the time. And they don't even know what it feels like to just like be normal 
just be chill, be calm. And if they are calm or chill, they think, oh, well, you know, I gotta, gotta have some coffee. I gotta get amped up. I got so much to do. And your head just starts to spin. And, um, you know, it's, it's just kind of a crazy thing. And, um, I'm not, I, I do have caffeine every once in a while, but when I have it, I feel it. I'm not used to it anymore because that was actually one of the main things that I got away from to help heal because caffeine, um, can, you know, when you're having a lot of it, that fosters the growth of stress hormones and it promotes cortisol. And so you just have to be really careful, um, with caffeine. And there's actually a lot of options now. Like you can do dandelion or chicory root coffee, which is just totally herbal, no caffeine, gives you a boost. Um, there's all the mushroom coffees that are now out. There's even the ones that are like half coffee, half mushroom, or you can do just like the mushroom elixirs. They're very energizing, but it's not like a jittery energize feeling. It's a very calm energy. And so, um, you know, there's options like that. Juicing is a great way to get vitality and energy because you're taking raw foods and you're pressing out those enzymes and those phytonutrients and all the goodness that's in the vegetables and the fruits and the spices and you're, you're taking that directly and it's hitting your bloodstream and that's very energizing as well. You know, so there's different ways to, um, there's different things you can consume to get a lift without the jittery byproduct of caffeine. So that's just one aspect of this. And I go into a lot. Um, I share a lot about my own story, about the explanation that the hormone specialist gave me, which was a very good explanation of all of this with fight or flight. And um, I also, of course, provide insight and advice and share what I did to help myself heal, um, you know, because I did get my thyroid under control. I did get my progesterone back up and I got pregnant naturally with my daughter in the fall of 2016. So that's why I'm coaching. <laughs> that's the whole reason why I do this because I want you to know that it's possible. And I don't, I don't want people to be discouraged and think that they're never going to be able to heal, um, or that there aren't other ways to feel better other than taking a pill or getting surgery or, or just constantly going to the doctor and never really getting an answer, which happens a lot too. So please comment below if you have any questions or comments. Um, and also on my website at heartspeakhealth.com, I have a contact form. So get in touch with me and, um, you know, feel free to, uh, to, to message me on Facebook too and, and follow me along on social media. I'm going to be putting up more mini posts that are actually dripping from this blog about fight or flight. So stay tuned for that. You can follow me on Facebook and uh, Instagram to see those because I will continue to elaborate. There's a lot. There's a lot in this post. So again, heartspeakhealth.com slash blog. Check that out. And um, it's getting pretty toasty here, so I'm gonna I think I'm gonna head back into Pure Bar and sling some more juice. Getting it's getting dark in here too. Okay. <laughs> All right. Listen, you have a great weekend, and I will be back. Take care. Okay. Bye.